Hello and welcome back to Pete Jones's NASCAR 2005 Chase with the Cup Korea mode here on the Pixel Duck channel. Um, where, uh, yeah, um, in the previous two videos, we had, uh, yeah, in our first video, let me just, uh, go through it. In our first video, we won our first ever race at, um, it was Red Ball Raceway. Then we won our second race at, what was it? Oh, yeah, it was, damn, I'm forgetting everything. What? Well, but, okay, um, but anyway, in the previous two videos, we won three straight races after starting from last and using default setups, which is quite amazing. Um, if we look at the season info, we have, um, checking out the standings, we have a 90-point lead over Travis Foster, which that is quite large. I mean, we've won our first three races, and yeah, the next closest guy is Tony Durbin, Bruce Kennedy, Kelly Walker, Brady Barnes. Yeah, none of these guys are really close. That's pretty much it. So yeah, we've won three races, and in today's video, we're going to be going to Nazareth for the Lehigh Valley 150. And then to the Levi Strauss Signature Speedway, which... Those are two fun, two very fun short tracks. Um, and uh, if you know... Uh, the first two videos have been going pretty, uh, crappy. Um, the first video, the audio was so loud to where you could not hear my voice, which is inexcusable. It was, it was a rookie f first time mistake. And the second video, which the, I did turn the audio volume down, it, um, yeah, uh, it turns out the mic wasn't actually plugged in. I thought it was plugged in, but it wasn't. And all the commentary in that video was not in there, so I had no idea when I uploaded it. And, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. So, I've, I'm all for 2 so far. I, I hope that this video at least goes well. Like, at least you can hear my voice, and... <sighs> yeah, and we can actually have, like, a good quality video on the Pete Jones career. So, we're heading to Nazareth. Uh, the prize purse is about a hundred, it said 21, yeah, 21 grand. Um, this track is kind of like a, a mini Pocono of sorts. It's not exactly, uh, I mean, it's kind of triangle shaped. You're here at the it's a bit, Speedway for more exciting NASCAR it's a bit interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, this track is, hold on, uh, this track is a bit interesting in its layout. So, um, sorry, um, alright, we're into the race, remember, we're starting from last, that's the, that's the deal we're making, we got Clara away from the field, using default setups in this game, right now we're blowing past the car, up to 20th, oh, Go around the grass a little bit. Alright, we're keeping it behind the 82 of Bruce Kennedy. Almost hit that guy right there. Alright, come on, let's take Bruce to the front. There we go. Oh! Oh, we almost hit that guy right there. The a foot ahead car. Alright, we're now up to we're now in the top five. Oh no! Oh god, I <sighs> My driving is not that great today. We're in the top five. We just gotta get by George Dennis in the Cletus's car. Go side by side. You know, let's get George to the front. Come on, George. Aw, can't, can't keep it on the bottom for some reason. See, like I was saying, this track is a bit interesting. Turn one is like this narrow, sharp turn. And it's very short and 
playing. Oh, yeah, we're just good. On our turn. It's good to have very bad. And then you've got like a normal turn. Three. As you can see on the map, and then turns four, and then turns four and five, which like this track is very on. It's about like it's it's kind of like Phoenix in a way. I mean, like, there's no real track that's going like this. So. And we just got by Bill Calhoun, and now we have Tony Durbin, which, um, at Milwaukee Mile, almost passed us to the wind. He tried to dive bomb us, which... Yeah, that was him on the 156. And we're in the lead. We just gotta hold off Tony Durbin, which... So far, it's been our main competitor in the series. He's been one of the best drivers we've made. We've been great allies with him, which that is a very important tool to have. He's right there. Ooh. Oh, we're chopping his nose off right now. He's really close to us. And we gotta keep on the bottom. We're gonna block him. He's there. We're not gonna give it to him. He's going low. He's trying to dive bomb us. Is he seriously trying to? Fine. He dive bombed it deep into turn four. Now we're gonna be side by side in turn one. Oh! Oh, that's a really bad idea. Going side by side to turn one and down. That turn is very weird. Gotta get by Tony here. Now let's just draft them for Or we could just pass them. Side by side again in turn one. That was a nice corner. He's right there. He's going high for some reason. No. Why why are you why are you running the high land on the racetrack? That makes sense. He's not gonna get entry in the turn. Turn four. Where's that turn three? I don't know. Feels on. This should be turn one, which means these here should, like these corner, this corner here should be turns two or three. Oh, oh, that was a major slide. Oh god, we got real. Oh, no. Oh. We got so okay, right okay, you know what? I got an idea. Or not. I'm gonna back off. He was very close to me right there. We're on the last lap. I now want to go double wide and turn forward. Going through the grass. Oh. We got it, we're in the lead. Pass Tony. It's there. Nope. We're gonna block him and we got. Oh. We got the win! To the fire, victory lane. Held off Tony You know what, let's do some burnouts. Doing them donuts. Another hard fall win. How do I... Okay, so this is the reverse button. There we go, yeah! Burning it down like a pro. With, oh, we're on pit road now. I don't really see why there needs to be pit road. I mean, after all, this is. I mean, we take no pit stops in this game. There are no cautions. One more for the fans. This one's for you, people at Nazareth. Let's go! Alright, that's about enough. We are 939 skill points. We are great allies with Tony Durbin. Becoming better allies with Bruce Kennedy and George Meyer. As well as Brady Barnes, George Dennis, and Howie Black. Nice. Alright, so we made about 7 grand off that race. With about nearly $200 in merchandise income. It's pretty nice. So we held off Tony Durbin in a quite exciting last lap battle. We get the win. He's 
celebrating with his, I assume to be his crew chief. So yeah, we're now four for four now. That's an amazing start. And, oh, we got a phone call from Ace. Hey man, you are a real hero out there. You're driving clean and you're racing like a true legend. Someone worthy of the Hall of Champions. Your fans are right there with you, so keep it up. You know, I almost forgot. You're going to start to see your share draft abilities increase as your hero status does. All right, Ace. So, um, yeah, we're becoming quite a hero. As you can... Once the autosave goes away, you can see the needle. It's... Wow, it's already gone up like a full notch. And we're only four races into our Featherlight Modified career. What a phenom. Pete Jones. He's got four wins in his first four races. And a NASCAR sanctioned event. But, ooh. Man, I'm worried about this track. Levi Strauss Signature Speedway. I've raced here a lot, and it is... It is one tight, tight oval. It's a, it's kind of more of a triangle. If you think about it, it's one of those fancy tracks in these old EA NASCAR games. Which... Um, yeah, it's a tight, it's a very small triangle, uh, short track. You have to arc the corner just right, and it's really hard to hit car, to not hit people at this track, not hit a bunch of cars. <sighs> um, yeah, it's almost as hard as, like, Red Ball, so, Red B no, not Red Ball, the Dodge Raceway Stadium. That's gonna be a nightmare to race at. I don't know when do we race at Red Bull. Um, most of this modified schedule is just. Oh, here it is. Week 18. That's gonna be absolute pain racing at the Dodge Racer Stadium. I don't hate the track, but it is just so dang tiny. It's. It is just. It's just so hard. For someone with as prestigious hero status as Pete Jones himself, it is hard for him to not hit people at that track. But hey, right now we gotta go to Levi Strauss Speedway. It's got very high banks and uh, sharp corners. As normal, we're gonna be starting 22nd with the default setups. Remember, I just want to point out this is on like easy mode since I can't. I'm I'm not very good at doing. NASCAR games without auto break. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm really EA not. Sports, and the Levi Speedway would like All right, to let's not waste any more time. Race. Let's get straight into it. All right, here we go. Start Come next to the old Spice car. Man, I got horrible launches. Why? These AI, they get such great starts. Off. We got 12 laps to make up 22 positions. This is gonna be a tight I'm having to really, my butt is so, clenching so hard trying to make this corner. Oh. oh, that guy made some contact and almost ran into the lead. Or I almost ran into the lead. And if you did not believe me when I said these corners were big, think again. Because I would, I would, it was three wide. Oh! I know. Okay, let's just try and settle down. Let's get behind this auto zone car. Who, who is he? Who's Mr. Otto? Wade Davis. Alright, Wade, let's... Oh! I did not mean to do that. We hit the Cletus' car. It's... George Dennis. Yeah, I think I got that right. George. On the inside, we got it. We're into ninth. Still side by side with this 175 car. We got by. There we go. Okay, uh, let's just sell behind uh, Elmer Cadwin. The weirdest number font I have ever Oh, I got an idea. Got an idea. Oh, no! Oh, I just want that, like, rainbow car guy. Uh, the owner! Oh my! What happened? There were, like, two slow cars just babying at, like, 30 miles per hour. They just lepaged the field! 
do what just what just happened? Did y'all see that just happened in the rear view menu? Rear view it's like a car on the road. What happened? He went flying. I'm not even kidding. He was airborne because of that. Oh, that was. These corners are so tight. Try not to get anybody. We're about five tenths back from Tony Durbin. We gotta hold off this 105 car behind us. Like, I just don't know the names of this fake driver. Every driver in the modified series is Alright, we got two laps to go. We gotta get by Tony Durbin. Uh, yeah, it looks like the bottom is the place to be. No, no, no! No, that's not what I was trying to do, no! No, he went... He kept squeezing me up top. I tried to cut low and... That's not what I was... What just... No, I... It was the final lap, he came up on me and... What? We only gained 469 skill points. We lost a lot of allies, Tony. We only gained 5,000 dollars. Can we see that on the highlight reel? Maybe that Kevin LePaging or the wreck with me and Tony. Right. Nope. I don't think we're gonna see it, but that was not my intention. I was just trying to. <laughs> yeah. The 105 car of. What's his name? Paul. Wait. I think it's Paul Danelli. He started fifth, took home the win. He led one lap, and that was the final lap. We didn't lead any. So, um. Aldenelli takes, I think that's how he pronounces it. Gets the win. How how far back did um, uh, Tony Durbin fall? He fell to seven after that. He led 11 laps and direct on the final lap. Which I just want to point out, I did not mean to do. He just kept squeezing me up top and he went too high and I got to overcorrect corrected there and I mean I'm so sorry for wrecking him but I'm probably going to lose I'm probably not going to be as I'm not as great as Alex but um I probably lost a lot of respect for me. I just cost him a race I also cost myself a race too Paul gets the win <sighs> Pete's still happy even though he destroyed Tony he's still clapping He's, wow, he's, he just claps. He, he, he was second and he had a chance to win, but he's still clapping. Oh, I got a phone call from Ace. Whoa, your prestige is really soaring these days, pal. Some good work out there. Let's try to keep those ratings up. You know, if you can do it, old Ace will guarantee you that he can make some great things happen for you. Got it, Ace. Thought you were going to give me a phone call to mock me on, or, or tell me that Tony's, angry with me and that he demands an apology I just cheated him out of a win I feel so bad about that All right, let's check the points we should have a pretty good margin um, no, um, standings right here nope standings yeah we got a 127 point gap where is Paul Paul Donnelly, he's 14th in points, and he's the only person besides me to win this year. That is crazy. Paul Donnell, Donnelly. Donnelly? Don, Donnelly. Uh, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's not Paul Donnelly, it's Paul Donnelly. Donnelly. That's his last name. I mean... Sometimes I wonder, like, where did... Who came up with these last names? We got Wayne Huck... 
Huckabee. Um, Jeff McFarland. <laughs> I'm sorry, just that name cracks me up. Uh, Marvin Humphreys. I mean, these are some interesting names. But Pete Jones, of course, is first. Um, which, uh, oh, we got, like, a nice schedule here where you don't have to, like, manually, like, go through each and every single day or week. So, yeah, in the next video, we'll be going to Martinsville for the Appalachian 150, and then we're going to be going to Richmond. So, those are two tracks that the Cup Series visits that the Modified Series is going to be going to. This is kind of like the, the, the format that the whole Modified Series go like is based on it's wednesday night racing like two races a week normally in the case of yeah in the case of july it's only one and august but yeah um so yeah that's what's gonna happen in the next video we're going so on wednesday the wednesday may 5th uh we're going to the martinsville speedway and then to Richmond. Those seem like two pretty normal tracks. Martinsville should be. I don't know. It doesn't seem. It doesn't seem. It, it shouldn't be that bad. I mean, I'm pretty good at Martinsville, and Richmond should be a very good race. I mean, it's a it's a quarter mile short track, which is quite a lot compared to most of the short tracks we go to. Uh, these races haven't really been that interesting, aside from. The, the fights, with aside from the battles with Tony Durbin and me, just outright, outright wrecking Tony Durbin. And that's because I once, there are no pit stops, like, no matter how far you extend the races in this game, the modified series never c comes down pit road. There are no cautions or anything like that. However, when you enter the truck series, pit stops do become a concern, and uh, you also have to, um, there's also cautions, which... I think that should make the racing a lot interesting. When we do get an offer in the in the Craftsman Truck Series, or if we do, what am I saying? We we are gonna get one. We've won four out of five modified races. When we get a tra Craftsman Truck Series ride, we're gonna be hopping right on that. Um, yeah, I have no contracts at this moment. It, I'm not sure how long it'll take before I get one. I'm hoping I get one soon. Um, but yeah, that looks to be about it. Um, so Pete Jones has become... Yeah, he has improved his hero standing among other drivers. Um, yeah, it, ju it just keeps going up. What a, what a hero to society in only five Featherlight Modified Series races. Um, so anyway... Uh, th uh, that's gonna be it for today's video. As I said, uh, we're gonna be hitting up Martinsville and Richmond in in the next video. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, uh, please sub please subscribe if you're new and you like what's and if you like um, the content that I'm putting out, that'd be very deeply appreciated. Um, we we've recently gotten some new subscribers um, to the channel. Uh, we now have six, which um, aside from my account and, uh, me asking my dad to do it, um, aside from that, uh, we have, uh, four other people who've actually subscribed, um, so we now are up to about six, um, uh, which are, so, um, so, yeah, that's uh, about the highest this has ever been for the channel. Uh, I wondered, I don't know if I should list their names or if they want their names to be listed. Uh, I don't know, I'll probably, um, ask them tomorrow, I'll probably ask them tomorrow and ask, like, hey, do you guys want your, do you guys want to or want to be, like, but never mind. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, like, subscribe, or in some cases, comment, because, we, uh, we have no comments so far. This is our fourth video, and no one has commented on them. So you know what? 
I'm gonna make um a challenge out to out to everyone watching this. The first person to comment on this video will get a special will get a special shout out in the next video. Because please, well, I just like I like someone to put something constructive in the comments or anything in the comments for that matter. So if you have a question, comment. I hope not a concern. I mean, why would you? But if you have any inquiries or inquiries, why did I say it? Nevertheless, if you have something you want to comment on, please do it in the comments below. But the first one to comment will get a special shout out in the next video. I just want to keep want you all to keep that in mind because I just really it'd be so much more appreciated if you guys would comment. But anyway, uh. That's that will about wrap it up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and I'll see you next time